Janet here with Radiant Wandering slash Radiant Realty, kind of in a changeover process right now. But anyways, uh, Montana videos, Montana living, lifestyle, activities, and that sort of thing. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button, stay a while, I'd love to have you. Don't be shy, interact, I love reading your comments and questions. If you've been here a while, thank you so much. Please do give a big thumbs up if you find anything in this video helpful or useful. I had a request a month or two ago, I believe, maybe longer. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, I'm getting to it now. Um, a subscriber wrote in and asked if I could do a video on how to dress for winter. And when I inquired about uh, what she meant with this, um, she mentioned people complaining about the cold, but then not being properly dressed for it, which I have seen. And there are some people that go out in winter in shorts all winter long, uh, but they're not usually the ones complaining. So I just wanna go through what layers work and um, how to stay warm <laughs> if you live in Montana or another cold area. So definitely leave a comment below if you have any questions or additional recommendations. And also with all of my videos, if I go too fast or you want to reference this for later, check the description below. I will leave a link to my blog post with photos and details and all of that for you to reference later. And if you guys have seen my snowshoeing video, I'll try to link that at the end of this one. In the very beginning, it was negative six, or no, I think it was six degrees. Six degrees the day that Megan and I decided to go snowshoeing. <laughs> and so you see me at the beginning putting out a ton of layers and that kept me warm. I actually took my gloves, my mittens off. I did kind of my ski outfit for that. Um, but I took my mittens off part way through the snowshoe. So this definitely works. All right, you guys, so I've got everything laid out here. We're gonna start with just daily life, daily living. And we'll start with the top layer. So uh, definitely in winter in Montana. Cozy sweatshirts, which who doesn't love those, or sweaters. So let's just throw one of these on here and we'll go through the layers real quick. Uh, these are wonderful. There is only a slight danger that you might put on five or 10 pounds because you know, you're not wearing a swimsuit anytime soon. All right, so next up is the coat. Now this coat, I absolutely love, super, uh, professional and just classy classic however it's not warm if you can see in here it's not insulated so it's great for a fall day not super great in winter I may wear this on um, maybe a 30 or 40 degree day here in winter if I have proper layers underneath and then um, and if it's not windy the wind makes such a huge difference um, but anyways Super cute, super stylish. If you want a coat similar to this and you want it to be warm, you need to look for one that's insulated and they aren't very common, unfortunately, but I do believe you can find one. So anyways, other than that, this is probably not the best option for Montana or Canada or <laughs> those super cold locations, but I do enjoy having it for those little bit warmer days. Typically what I wear, if I'm going to go for a walk or anything around town is this coat. I think I got it at TJ Maxx or something. I don't know, it's Nautica, but it's so warm, you guys. So this one is pretty heavy, actually. I don't know what's in it even, but it's thick. And of course comes all the way up to protect my neck from the cold. It has these um, little loops where it can pull this down so that if I put mittens on, no cold air is getting in here, which is really nice. And then just comes down, I don't know if you can see, just past my waist. And then if it's super cold out, I wear my long down coat from Eddie Bauer. I think it's Eddie Bauer. Um, let's see, yes. And it does have an option for a hood as well, but I never use hoods on coats. We'll get to that later. I always use beanies because I feel like they're warmer. So this one goes down to my knees. And so that keeps my thighs and my butt warm and everything while I'm walking, which is just wonderful. And it just kind of feels like a down blanket. So I'm all cozied up in a down blanket and it's perfect. So once I get this on, we head down to the feet. Uh, for feet, I like to wear these long socks. 
I've got so many pair. You can do wool or this one, I don't know. This one's a little bit softer. Um, but any long socks will do a multiple pair. <laughs> I like to stay warm. And then uh, once you get those socks on, then you can put on some boots. Now when it comes to boots, all boots are not created equal. These are Sorrells, I love them. These are the more stylish ones. They have heavier duty, they're kind of clunkier, and they are warmer. These are great for my walking if I'm moving a lot. When we went on our tree hunt and we were waiting around for some friends, my toes got super duper cold. But uh, what my friend Jane does is she just puts some toe warmers on um, with her boots. So if you know you're gonna be going out and kind of not really moving or active for a while, that's a great option. And then I also use these, which are, I don't know if you can see those, but they're the little cleaty things that go on the bottom of your shoes. So if you're walking in ice, um, you don't slip and hurt yourself, which is a big concern. <laughs> so I wear these a lot. These keep me active in the winter. Um, now for the head, because what do they say? Like, if your head is warm, then the rest of you is warm. So like I said, I don't wear um, hoods for my coats, but beanies, lots of different beanies, which is also great. Okay, you guys, the great thing about winter <laughs> is you literally could, if you wear leggings to bed or something, and you have a long coat that goes down to your knees, and you have boots that come up to here, <laughs> and then you have a beanie, you really don't have to get ready. <laughs> I mean, put your makeup on, but then your hair doesn't really need to be done because it's covered. And I used to go, when we lived in Ohio, I would walk to the school bus and get the girls, and sometimes I, ha I wouldn't have even changed out of my <laughs> leggings because, well, I didn't have to. So you can do a beanie, you can do these little things. What are these bands called? I don't know, if you like your hair to be out a little bit more. Um, I like, I love this beanie from uh, the Montana scene. I love their stuff. That's where that sweatshirt's from too. Super warm and cozy, but my girls make fun of me because they say that it looks like an elf. But I think it's very cozy and it probably kind of does, but I don't care. And let's see, we've got the ones with the little ball on top, classic. You know what I don't have that's really popular? It's just the ones that go to kind of a point. I don't know why. And then, I mean, there's beanies for every style, right? So this kind with a little cap, kind of more, I don't know what you call that. But anyways, you can do whatever works with you. And then for gloves, when I go walking, I typically wear these gloves. I think they were like 10 bucks at Costco or something. There's nothing special about them. Um, I found these fun wool gloves at a store, a gift shop when we were in Helena. Um, those are a lot of fun. They're not quite tight enough at the top, so they come loose a little bit. And then scarves. I don't really wear scarves, but it's not a bad idea, especially on a windy day, if you wanted to keep something up around your face, you could do that. And again, just multiple options. You could go this thing. I don't know. It's like super warm and up there. So that's gonna keep you warm on just a daily basis. Also, if you wanted to on your legs, I didn't really get into that. Typically jeans are enough and then a long coat. But if you didn't have a long coat, you could do um, leggings or long johns underneath your pants or you could do snow pants over top of your pants. These are actually my ski pants and I did throw them on the other day because I was still in leggings which are not as warm as jeans and um, so I just threw these over top and that worked. Ski pants, snow pants, definitely a must if you're going to be snowshoeing, skiing, snowboarding, uh, sledding, any of those winter activities. Ski coats are a little bit different. Um, this is my ski coat, and it doesn't look very warm, surprisingly enough, which is weird. But it is warm because of all the layers that you put on underneath. So let's actually do those layers and get into that real quick so you can see what that looks like. Um, 
Okay, so for skiing, we have our base layer, which is just gonna be that athletic uh, moisture wicking material. And you can buy whatever, I mean, you can spend like $70 on one of these, or you can <laughs> go to Target or TJ Maxx or something and find one for 15, 20 bucks. It's, there's nothing really special about it except for the material. And for your base layer on your legs as well, I think these are Cuddle Duds brand. Um, my daughter has some that she got at Costco and they are lined inside with fleece which is great because that kind of uh, takes the next layer out if you have that, which is convenient. So the next layer after the base layer is the fleece layer. So I have a fleece top here that we'll wear. Let's just put that on here real quick. Okay, and then fleece pants, which are not super attractive, but they get the job done. So basically with this, uh, for skiing or sledding or snowshoeing or anything, you've got the moisture wicking on the base and then you've got the fleece, which, which kind of keeps the moisture out anyway. So, okay, we got those on. And then we're gonna put on our snow pants right here. And again, with snow pants, Costco sells some for, uh, gosh, 20, 30 bucks, or you could do like a sporting goods store and pay, you know, 80 bucks, 200 bucks, 300 bucks, I don't know, as much or as little as you want. But you don't have to invest a ton of money at first. I think when we moved out here at first, I honestly just went to Goodwill and bought a bunch of stuff that, because the girls were growing, and I didn't want to spend a ton of money on their stuff. Now they're pretty much full grown, which is kind of sad, but also kind of nice. There's your ski coat. And again, I don't use the hood on my ski coat either. <laughs> I use the fleece. Um, these neck gaiters, they can come in many different materials. My husband likes a thinner one. I like the fleece. So this is going to go over your head. <laughs> Goodness. Yeah, see? So nobody can see you anymore. Uh, when you're skiing, it comes up like this and it goes down into your coat. So it keeps you very, very warm. And then we've got gloves. So I'm going to pull this down so I can talk to you guys. Uh, ski gloves. Uh, it's really nice to have one with a wrist strap so that if you're on the lift and you need to take your glove off for any reason, you don't have to worry about holding your glove and your poles and yada yada. And then always hand warmers and toe warmers for in the ski boots or the uh, snowboard boots, I guess. And then of course, if you're snowshoeing, you just wear your regular boots with that. Uh, once you open those up, this is what they look like. This one is used, so it's a little bit black. That's the only bummer about it is it gets under your nails, um, but totally worth it to stay warm. So that's really all I have for you guys. That should, those items should do the trick for you. They should keep you warm in the cold weather, get you outside, get you moving, get you active, and keep you feeling good if you live in a colder state or if you're just visiting. Again, if you're just visiting though, um, don't invest a ton of money in that. Find some deals here and there, and that's definitely going to be sufficient for you guys. All right, so I hope that was super helpful for you. Again, if you have any additional comments or questions, leave them below, recommendations, and I'll see you guys next week.